What's up, guys? You're listening to Still a Piece of Garbage. And I'm your host, Danielle. So every now and then we like to open up our telephone lines to our viewers and let them talk about anything. Anything at all that stresses them out. I like to call this segment Stressed Out. It appears we have someone on the line. Hey there, tell us your name and what you're stressed out about. Hi, my name is Carol, and I'm stressed out about how all the moms on my kids' soccer team wants me to do everything. What do you mean? For instance, last week I made lemon squares for the kids, bought four cases of juice boxes, carpooled nine other players, made flyers for their game, and washed the team's jersey. I'm the only person, and there's like six other moms that could help out. Wow, sounds like they're throwing everything on you. I know, they act like they don't have hands. It would be nice to have a little bit of help. Man, I understand you. Thanks for calling. We have another viewer on the line. Hello. Hi, you're on. Still a piece of garbage. Hi, I'm Sharon. I wanted to comment on the soccer mom. Carol, the reason nobody ate your lemon squares is because, well, not to say your cooking sucks, but your cooking sucks. I mean, who in the world gives kids lemon squares? Kids want candy and soda, not organic fruit flavored squares. I'm just saying. Wow, sounds like somebody's throwing shade. Anybody <sighs> care to comment? Hello. Hi, you're on the air. Hi, my I'm Margaret, and my kid on the soccer team that's being discussed. Um, I don't know who you you're you're talking to. Carl's Car- lemon squares are the bomb. She made them for the most recent PTA meeting, and everybody everyone likes them. So. Also, not to say your kid sucks, but he made one goal in the whole season. All he does is get he is get tired and sits in the middle of the field during the game. An unhealthy kid shouldn't be playing sports. That what slows them down is all that candy and soda that you feed them. Just saying. Whoa, she's bringing the kids into this. Anybody want to clap back? Sharon? It's Sharon. I'm back. Since you want to bring my kid into this, you can't even talk about my kid not scoring a goal. Your kid made one. I know my kid is the best player on the team. Are you sure? Are you really sure? He kicked it into the other team's goal, and he's the goalie. Obviously, he doesn't even know what the goalie's supposed to do. It's his first year. Huh, <laughs> Wookie. You can't talk, Margot. You know that's not how you say my name. Margot, Margot, Margot. Whoa, calm down there. Hey, Sharon, when is your kid gonna make a goal? The same time your hair decides to grow back. You better back the f up before you get smacked the f up. Uh oh, this is about to be a cat fight. <laughs> Hello, am I on the air? Yes, you are. What is your name? I'm Helen. My question is, why are you all fighting? Where are we? Are a union of soccer moms, and we stick together. Let's have a potluck. Shut up, Helen. Let's talk about each other's cars. Carl, you you need to clean that dirty, run-down, dusty car of yours. I swear, there's probably a dead body hiding in there somewhere. Marga, honey, you can't talk about dirty. I saw what you and Coach Cooper did under the bleachers. Oh, you and Coach Coop? I knew it was too good to be true. How'd you guys hit it off? Well, after the game, he thanked me for wishing, washing the jerseys, and he asked me how I got them so clean. I told him with a just a cup of detergent and a little softener, miracles can happen. If you think he his abs look amazing wow this guy sounds dreamy he is hey golf sorry i was meant mean to you and all your kids i was jealous because i actually love your cooking and i really want your lemon square recipe call it's fine i was jealous because you're with coach coop if you want, we can all meet up and have a potluck at my place at five. Okay, okay that sounds, sounds good. good. Can I come? Sure. All right, thank you for listening to... Still a piece of garbage. We'll be off the air at five. I have a potluck to go to.